The ketogenic diet is one of the fastest growing diet trends right now and many people praise it for its health benefits. However, the opposite, low fat camp is bashing it down, saying it causes heart diseases and many other health problems. I was fairly familiar with the science behind keto, but I wanted to see how my body really reacts to it when I tried it for the first time. So I went to the doctor and got my blood checked after 21 days on a diet with 70% fat and almost no carbs. And we will discuss the results in this video. If you are new to the channel, my name is Patrick and I am a PhD candidate in molecular biology and I do a lot of nutritional research and perform self-tests to figure out what is really true. Ok, this is a video I wanted to bring out for a while as I am having the results sitting around for some time now. After eating for 21 days mainly fatty meat, eggs, fish, vegetable and nuts and no fruits, no grains and no sugar. I went to the doctor and got my blood checked and we checked for inflammation, we checked for blood lipids and we checked for blood sugar. The easiest lab test to measure inflammation is to measure the C-reactive protein. And after 21 days keto my C-reactive protein was not detectable, meaning it was less than 0.6 mg per deciliter. I am not sure about my C-reactive protein levels on different diets, but I am planning to find this out soon. However, I think we can conclude that the ketogenic diet is definitely not inflammatory. If anything, it's probably more anti-inflammatory if I understand the research correctly. Inflammation is really important to keep it low if you don't have an infection. I'm not gonna go into detail about this, but I've made some other videos explaining why inflammation can be so bad for your health. Okay, let's talk about cholesterol. My cholesterol was at 163 mg per deciliter with HDL being at 57 and LDL at 97. Compared to my last blood test, which I had like half a year ago when I was eating a moderate carbohydrate diet, both went up my LDL and my HDL cholesterol. However, my triglycerides actually went down to 41 mg per deciliter, so very low. After researching intensively on cholesterol, I'm actually not worried about LDL cholesterol at all. But I was pretty happy to see my triglycerides so low and also my remnant cholesterol. Remnant cholesterol is not something that is commonly known. It is what you get when you subtract your HDL and your LDL cholesterol from your total cholesterol. With my remnant cholesterol being at 9 mg per deciliter, it would put me at the lowest possible risk for heart diseases when looking at this specific biomarker. And yes, if we look at the research, we see that remnant cholesterol is highly associated with heart diseases and with all-cause mortality, and even much more so than LDL cholesterol. The last thing that got checked were my blood glucose levels, or Blutzucker in German. Thanks to my new blood glucose and ketometer, I know that my blood glucose is usually around 88 mg per deciliter when I'm eating a moderate carbohydrate diet. However, 21 days on a ketogenic diet was enough to drop my blood glucose to 67. I also tracked other things like my physique or my gym performance, but I will leave it as that for today. I know that these results would be much more valuable if I would have done a blood test also right before the ketogenic diet. But I intend to correct this mistake soon. I'm planning to try different diets and get my blood levels always check before and after to see how my body really reacts to these changes. So my next plan is to do a clean high carb diet for 21 to uh, 28 days and see how my body reacts to it and then switch to a ketogenic diet and see the changes. Besides my blood profile I also want to keep track of many other things like how strong I am at the gym, my physique, my mood, my sleep, my energy levels. You name it. I just want to find out what is potentially the best diet for me long term and to what diet I can switch if I ever gonna get some health issues. If you're interested about all these things and how my body's gonna react to all these changes, consider subscribing. You would also help me to produce more content by this. I hope you found this video interesting and thank you for watching and hopefully see you next time.